Excited astronomers said yesterday that they had captured a supernova explosion and that they may now learn how to spot others. The story began in 2010, when the Hubble Space Telescope captured several images of the Able 370 galaxy cluster. That is hardly a groundbreaking achievement, in and of itself. However, a team of scientists studying the archival Hubble data uncovered something incredible. An image of a newborn supernova that erupted 11.5 billion years ago, acquired only hours after the star died. The team, led by the University of Minnesota, postdoctoral researcher Wen Lai Chen, was seeking for gravitationally lensed, transitory events, which the supernova is. It's concealed behind Abel 370, but since light bends around the galaxy cluster as a result of its gravitational attraction, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing, we can view it from our vantage point, albeit in a deformed way. The team calculated that the initial star that had gone supernova was likely a red supergiant, with a diameter of around 530 times that of the Sun. By entering Hubble data into modules and examining features in the photos, such as brightness and color. They also found that Hubble took the first three images in sequence, about six hours after the explosion followed the core collapse, with the second and third images taken roughly 10 and 30 days later, respectively. Because the supernova has a high redshift, light wavelengths are stretched and shifted towards the red side of the spectrum as the universe expands. Astronomers were able to estimate the supernova's age to be around 11.5 billion years old, making it one of the oldest and most distant supernovas ever observed. If comparable distant supernovas are found, the team thinks that their simulation will assist in their investigation. Those uncovered would then be able to further study the star populations at high redshift. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.